Hello, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, to the videos. Appreciate everyone watching uh, this DTST uh, gameplay 2K22. Uh, I am Durham. So today we're going to go with the old Rochester jerseys. Old school Rochester. From, um, the current Sacramento Kings. Um, Location. Since I'm from Chicago, I am a uh, Bulls fan. So the legendary so there was version, no I think, practice the cover was MJ, so I'm pretty calendar. excited about that too. Which are my players? I guess the Nuggets, um, which I'm very playing right a now. Center, there was my no practice, so I went into like my court and I just put up a couple of shots. So you go the easy route. So yeah. that was... Um, I'm, I'm new to basketball, so you didn't know, I'm actually just trying to do the easy go stuff in first. Go into gameplay on that game, which is to shoot out and just get a couple of shots out before I play. So... We can go right into the Denver Nuggets and see what game this come down to. I'm already lost two in a row. So, we'll check and see how this works out. Hopefully that we can get a W. This Denver Nuggets team, you know this is 2K22, they're still by far a dangerous team. And they are, like, too, too, too many weapons successfully against teams. Um, even though that the Nuggets did lose uh, Bruce, Bruce Brown to the uh, Pacers. Um, I thought it was interesting beyond that but there's going to be a, um, a podcast about that uh, where me and Darren probably we're going to discuss that uh, Bruce Brown going to the Pacers of course that's the hometown that we currently live in now um, we'll share our thoughts on that and all kinds of other stuff so if you haven't already you can check out our podcasts and all that good stuff Two straight points. No, four straight points. Oh, wide open. You don't do that. Those hop steps. I don't know why it does that, but it'd be nice if it just lay it on up. Even directional or um, icon passing does it too. And I hate that. And even when I don't have no icon passing, I still hop step. It's just ridiculous. If I had a defender right there, that's a whole different ball game. But I don't.
clean. And that's the one thing you always will learn when you watch this gameplay. It's all about the pick and roll and how you leave your man behind. When you leave your man behind, chances are your shots will go in wide open. Again, that's what you do. Because I know a lot of uh, gamers, they like to be shot creators with tight handles, good handlings to uh, create space. I think you make that. But I've seen those type of um, gamers that just be shot creators. I've hardly seen. But I've never seen the type of players that actually go and, you know, be playmakers. Or I've seen slashers, but I see a lot of shot creators and um, with, uh, with high, good dribbling skills and all of that. And enables them to actually um, create open shots. Good defense, Tyrese Halliburton. He just signed an extension worth two hundred and sixty million dollars. That's very interesting. Got there too late. Schools in session. Well, let me not say schools in session. Class is in session. And same here. opportunities like that, that's how the game comes wide open. run those fast breaks you always run to the basket now there's some guards that actually like to run to the corner and hit that corner three especially if they're corner specialists 
but mainly for me, running that fast break. There you go. Hanging around that paint all day. Can't do that. Um, for me, I like to, when I run the fast break, I have got to have a man run into the basket. Either a man can run to the basket, a man can run to the corner. Especially if you have an uneven advantage during a fast break. But I prefer that my man, who, whatever you are, rather be a guard or rather be a center, run to the basket. Higher percentage points. Now, there's nothing wrong with a high three point shot. Nothing wrong with that. But you need high percentage points at this, at this case. And I think it's important that having that high percentage of shots, you need to just cut straight to the basket. And De'Aaron Fox showed that. Move you off your feet. Coming up on four minutes. That was a good block. Good bounce pass. Michael Porter Jr. Rashawn Holmes. Double team. Good block. Good block. I think that might have been uh, Rashawn Holmes. MP. There you go. Turn those, turn defense into offense. That unlocks the key. Pretty stellar first quarter. I'm not even gonna lie about it. Good hands. That's what you do. You close that gap, you stick your hand in there. It's a guaranteed work every time. Good fake. You got him off his foot. Bad shot. Good pass. Best match. Ooh, snatched that from him. Rashawn Holmes. Michael Green is another good veteran. Him, Jeff Green. Denver 
put all the pieces together. Aaron Gordon, when it came down to their championship run, they put it all together. They got some pretty good rookies. They had um, uh, Bills from that, and then bringing in uh, Christian Braun. A good pass, goaltender. Christian Braun came in and he, you know, set the tone after winning the title. I think it was Kansas. He was with Kansas when they won the title. If I got that wrong, I apologize if I've changed my uh, answer. <coughs> Excuse me. Good block. Rashad Holmes again. There's two blocks already for him. Yeah, so the Nuggets actually put it together. A champion in a collegiate in Christian uh, Christian Braun. And, and he showed out. He showed out. And I was very impressed with him. It's coming up on a minute left, a uh, minute twenty one. Um, a lot of people say that you score a lot of points, but you've been in a free throw line like 20, 30 times. It doesn't really make you a prolific scorer. What are your thoughts about that? Because me personally, wow. For me personally, I think going to the free throw line still makes you a prolific shooter. Regardless to how many times you've been in the line. 